Man, Rob and Tyler are gonna be super jealous because today I'm gonna to review the top three Smith goggles of the 2022-23 season. Sucks to be those guys. What's up everybody, TJ here from Sportorax and today we're gonna to be talking about the top three Smith goggles of the 2022-2023 snow season. Obviously we're thinking about updating our gear and so goggles are the first thing that we think about because we're obsessed with all things optics here at Sportorax. So first we're gonna go into some of the features that you can expect from all of these goggles that they all have in common. One being the foam performance, it's a triple layer dry wicks face foam that wicks away moisture for a fog free fit and anti fog performance that includes venting, which they call their air evac ventilation system that integrates with Smith helmets for fog-free lenses. You can look forward to helmet compatibility, especially with Smith helmets, but also with most helmets on the market as most goggles today are designed to work with most of the helmets out there. And of course, all three of these goggles are going to incorporate Smith's proprietary chroma pop technology that boosts color and enhances contrast in your field of view by blocking out certain wavelengths of color and allowing others to pass through so you can see every change in contour on the mountain. And what we think here is probably the most important thing that all of these goggles share in common that really puts them at the top of the list of the snow goggle catalog under the Smith name is the magnetic interchangeability of the lenses, which is very fast, seamless, and gets you back out riding so you're not losing time fumbling between lenses as the lighting conditions change. And if you're somebody that has prescription needs and you're used to wearing glasses beneath your goggles, that might work with a couple of these depending on the size that you require, but why would you put yourself through that kind of strain when you can opt for Sportorex prescription inserts? That's right. No more wearing glasses beneath your goggles that create uncomfortable pressure points, throw off your optical alignment, and if you take a crash and maybe break your lenses, then you know that's gonna be an expensive thing to replace. So don't worry about all that. Get a Sportorex prescription insert that can also work in other goggle models. Okay, now that we've talked about that, let's get into each one of these goggles and talk about why we like them so much and why they made this list. First up, we have the Squad Mag. Now the Squad is not a newer goggle per se in the Smith lineup. It's been around for quite a number of years, but the magnetic interchange or the mag system is new to this particular goggle. And it's a reason why it made this list and why we're such a big fan of it. Now the Squad is about a medium fit, but it's also available in a low bridge fit. So if you do not have a pronounced bridge like you see right here, and it's a little bit flatter, there is a little bit more foam in the low bridge fit version that creates that wanted seal on the face. So no uncomfortable cold air is getting in your line of sight. Now, speaking of the air getting into the goggle as you're wearing it, let's talk about the air that builds up inside that creates fog. Well, that is not a problem with the Squad Mag or any of these goggles for that matter because of the 5X anti-fog inner lens technology provided by Smith. That is an anti-fog treatment that has more depth. Therefore, it puts up better resistance to fog buildup. Now, as we mentioned before, the Squad utilizes a cylindrical lens, as you can see right there, meaning it only curves one way horizontally versus vertically. And I like that because it just feels like less bulk on the face. It's my personal preference. But again, you can uh, appreciate the triple layer dry wicks face foam right here that creates a nice seal against the face. By the way, it's also very soft and antimicrobial. And I'm gonna demonstrate for you really quick the lens interchange system. So there's a little lock slash hook right there that you just click off for that camera over there that you can see. And then as demonstrated by my left hand, the lens comes off with relative ease. And then if you wanna put it back on, it almost guides itself into place as it gets closer to the chassis thanks to that magnetic interchange as you can see right there. And then boom, lock it right back into place and you're ready to go. And by the way, you don't even necessarily have to take the goggle off in order to do this. And the same works for the insert as well. You can leave that insert firmly in place so you can see what you're doing while you're conducting that interchange. And I'll demonstrate for you one more time how the quick fit strap works. It unbuckles like that. And then very quickly just clips on right in the back like so. So that is the Squad Mag, go and check it out. And by the way, speaking of the Squad, you should join our squad and subscribe. And if you like this content, prove it by clicking that like button. Okay, next up we got the IO Mag. 
Okay, next up on deck, we have the IO Mag. Now the IO is a goggle that's been around for quite a long time. The magnetic interchangeability is a newer feature with it that I think started a couple of years ago, but there's a reason it keeps rising to the top of this list because people like it so much and it's been a great seller and it works well on a variety of levels. By the way, this goggle comes in three distinct sizes, a small, medium, and a large to extra large, and also comes in a low bridge fit model as well. Now, one obvious thing you're gonna notice with this goggle is the difference between this and the mag is that while the mag is, has the cylindrical lens that only curves one way horizontally, this curves both horizontally and vertically, but more is a sphere design, not to be confused with the torque design that you see in some other models. So this particular lens is designed to mimic the shape of one's eye, which equals distortion-free viewing as you get a broader top-down and wide viewing perspective. Now, of course, this goggle is going to come with all the same great features as the mag, as well as the 4D mag. And just so you guys can get an idea of what this goggle looks like on the face, I'm going to unhook the quick fit strap, put it on the back. By the way, it's silicone lined on the inside as well. So it's gonna have a strong grip to the helmet, meaning it's not going to move out of place. There you go. And I will demonstrate really quick the interchangeability with this goggle. It's a little bit different from the mag where it has the, where the mag has the hooks at the bottom right there. This one is more on the temple and it's not quite as intuitive as the squad, I would say, but still fairly seamless. So what you're going to do, you just kind of grab this hook, pull it back and then give the chassis a little bend as well, which is going to help the lens detach like so. And then the magnets will guide it back into place with ease, it locks right back in, and so you're ready to ride. Last but not least, we have the 4D Mag, and we're a really big fan of this goggle just because it looks so freaking cool. It's got that bird's eye lens technology that is supposed to grant you 25% more viewing, especially looking down, which is helpful because you don't want the bottom of the goggle chassis to interfere with what you're trying to look at. Although most of the time you're looking straight ahead and not right down below, but aside from its functionality, it's just a really cool looking goggle. And the 4D is offered in two distinct models, a small and a large, and is also available in that low bridge fit, which again, gives you a little bit more foam right there if you have somewhat of a more shallow bridge, not like this thing and so it will decrease the chances of that unwanted cold air getting in your line of sight. Now, as far as the lens interchangeability, I think the 4D Mag really takes the cake as far as being the easiest and quickest to interchange of the three models that you see right here. I'm gonna demonstrate that for you really quick here. I'm gonna use the strap, put this guy on. As you can see right there, and then the hooks that release the goggle strap are right down here at the bottom. You push them in and I can feel that magnetic kind of pulling towards my face, but it pops off just like so. And again, you don't even have to take the goggle off. The magnets will find their way right back onto the chassis with relative ease, lock those guys into place, and you're good to go. All right, that about wraps it up for the top three Smith goggles of the 2022-23 season. If you have additional questions, leave them below in the comment section. We'll be sure to get back to you. For more in-depth answers, give our opticians a call. We'd love to speak with you. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Now that you know our top picks from Smith Snow Goggles, check out our lens guide in the video right over here and also check us out on social media at SportRx.